Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm David. I uh, look a little bit draggled, but that's kind of the way I am. Also, especially after a long day of performing, I don't normally perform for four hours at a time, but it was such a beautiful day and I decided to do that. My fingers started getting a, a little tired. Um, and actually, it's funny because my, oh, you can't quite see it now, but my palm gets a little shiny from um, a, long, uh, a lot of pressure along the side of my uh, accordion. So there can be some occupational hazards of playing music for a long period of time. But that's not why I brought you here. I brought you here to talk about tips and people who tip. It is very easy to discount people that you don't think are going to tip. It's, um, well, I've got a friend, uh, another busker who uh, plays a lot of rock music and he tends to ignore everybody over about age 30. However, there are a lot of people who are above age 30 who um, like music and will tip. Uh, but thing is, if they feel that they're being shunned, then they won't. Now, I have made this unfortunate decision myself over the years where I don't expect fat people to tip I don't expect middle-class people to tip. I don't expect uh, Filipinos to tip. And I've been proven wrong on each of those occasions. In fact, I've been proven wrong many times. I've come to the conclusion that you just simply cannot predict by looking at people, or for that matter, even gauging their actions. Today, I was in front of the uh, drugstore where I often play. And there was this guy who was sitting in his car, and then he got out and walked right past me, totally ignoring me. That is usually a sign that they're never going to tip. He went into the store, bought some stuff, came out, passed me again, ignoring me, went into uh, uh, the um, back of his car, put the groceries and stuff in the car, and then went, went back into uh, the uh, uh cab, the passenger compartment of the car, and sat there and looked on his phone. And he was uh, middle-aged, probably about 45 or so, and he um, was just totally ignoring everything going on. And I was playing. I played probably three or four songs over a period of time. And uh, then out of the blue, he got out of his, uh, out of his car and gave me a $20 tip. Isn't that something? I thought for sure he was not even going to acknowledge me, and yet he did. Also, there are times when I'm packing up or when I'm just simply taking a break because, you know, the fingers get tired after a time. And it's funny because that's oftentimes when the tips start happening. It's like, oh, I wanted to catch you before you packed up and left. That's often what people will say. Or they say... Oh, I uh, didn't get a chance to uh, to tip you earlier, but now that I've got some money, and uh, they also say, um, "Oh, I uh, uh, I apologize. I only has you know some change." Now, as I said before, I used to reject change until one time I got twenty six dollars worth of change, and then I thought maybe I shouldn't ignore change that much. Uh, I used to be really insulted by it, you know, because I thought, well, you know, you can't even buy a candy bar with, with you know, a dollar or 50 cents worth of change, whatever. But it does add up. The thing is, uh, uh, there was this uh, guy today who apologized for um, giving me change, and it turns out he gave me almost $5 worth of quarters. You never can tell, you know. And so I always, oh, and, and as I've said before in another video, I always acknowledge, um, I, even if I have to stop playing, I'll say, thank you very much, I really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, I just go a little overboard on the, the thank yous. And since this is a particular store where I play uh, often, some of the same customers will uh, see me from time to time. And they'll say, oh, I'm so happy to see you again. 
and um, they'll uh, they'll tip me again. And there's this one person who I swear must have given me over the span of about two months must have given me about a hundred dollars. And again, I always acknowledge the tip. I always uh, make sure to, to smile. Uh, those are some of the things that, you know, they seem very minor, but they really matter to people. How you present yourself is uh, pretty important. Uh, I may actually get a haircut and color my hair and my beard again. Uh, this is, some of this is fake. Well, you can tell the gray in here. Uh, it these things, presentation matters. It's not just about the music. If it were about the music, people would buy, uh, you know, song files off uh, Spotify or Apple or whatever. But no, it's about the live performance. It's about the communication with people. It's about the connection. It's about the visual presentation as well as, as the uh, oral presentation. I uh, am kind of lax that way. I uh, was wearing um, uh, um, vests and, and things like that before, and I've kind of sloughed off on that, but as summer gets a little better, I plan to wear my vests again and plan to um, spiff up my look a little bit. If you've seen my video uh, where I'm playing, you'll notice I'm squatting down on a fairly short chair. Now, I have to play with a chair because when I got COVID four years ago, this was in uh, March of 2020, uh, it ruined my stamina and my ability to uh, uh, to stand for long periods of time, my ability to walk very far. And it's gradually come back little by little, but still, I uh, get tired sort of easily. So I sit. And I got this very nice, very comfortable chair, but I feel it's too low for me. I would rather have something that props me up a little bit higher because uh, looking at my video, I think the profile is too squat. Uh, it's too, um, uh, it, it just doesn't make me look my best. And I think it's really important when you're dealing with people, uh, when you're performing, being a performer, it's important to look your best. Now, I can't really do much about my, my wrinkles and my uh, sagging skin, uh, although I do try to appear in uh, sunlight or at least in fairly well-lit uh, areas outside so that uh, I look you know, much better than I do right now. Uh, and I, as I said, I'm going to probably get my hair trimmed and, and recolored and stuff like that. These things, uh, presentation, as I said, is extremely important, and it makes a big difference when it comes to tips. When I don't wear my top hat, uh, when I instead wear uh, a baseball cap or sometimes nothing, um, or even, for that matter, uh, a, um, a stocking cap, it makes a very big difference. The top hat is what really draws the people. I... Um, Sometimes perform without my glasses. I can do that, but I don't think I look as good without my glasses as I do with them. So I, uh, and these are just uh, cheap reading glasses from Dollar Tree. <laughs> uh, and, and, you know, it helps me a bit uh, to, to see a little bit better, but I technically don't really need them. But it helps the image a little bit more. And uh, as I said, image has a lot to do with the presentation. So, um, but when it comes to tips, uh, my word of advice is never discount somebody uh, due to their race, their age, their economic status, because they will surprise you. So, I'm David Kay. Thanks for watching. Uh, and, um, you know, whatever. Uh, join my, my um, um, list so you can see these when I release them. And uh, any comments that you want to make, please be, be sure and do so. Um, I will you know, get back to you uh, quickly. And uh, it'll also be some food for thought for other people as well. Thanks for watching.